YouTube, what's going on? Thank you for clicking on the video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Chimera in Modern Warfare 2. This is the new gun that dropped with Season 1 Reloaded. It's actually an extension of the M13 weapon platform, where you also have the Baz P as well. But it is probably most famously known as the Honey Badger from COD Ghosts. The Honey Badger was a super lightweight, mobile, really sturdy AR, super consistent accuracy, and pretty fast fire rate. Played as a mix as almost like a sub and an AR, packed a bit more punch than a sub, but much more mobile than your traditional AR. So I'm excited to jump in and get it. You actually have to get two kills using assault rifles in 15 different matches, but you don't have to stick those matches out. Out. You can jump in, get two kills, leave. I think I'm probably going to speed through that real quick now. It does also say that you can unlock it in DMZ by going to Building 21 and extract it with the weapon. And while that is true, Building 21 hasn't actually dropped in Modern Warfare Season 1 Reloaded yet. I talked about it in my patch notes review yesterday. It's something that Charlie Intel tweeted out about how Infinity Ward said that it hasn't released, it won't on launch, and they're not actually going to announce when it will release to help add to the allure of DMZ. Keys have dropped on DMZ and you have to go and loot and find them. And then players are going to have to figure out where it drops. I think realistically, it's probably going to be something this within a spec ops mission or something like that but either way as far as we know this isn't achievable yet so your best bet is honestly just head into multiplayer hop into shipment 24 7 get two kills with an ar super quick leave the game repeat the process it's going to take you like 15 minutes but either way i'll figure that out now let's get into things all right, we got one game left to do. As you can see, leaving in the last game did count to unlocking the gun. And we got to jump in one more game, get two kills, leave, and we've unlocked it. Okay, that's two. He's need to get RPG'd before I leave, though. That will do. All right, and we have the Chimera. Let's go, baby. In the update, they've changed it. So when you had Orion before, it was like on Vanguard for a little bit. When you unlocked Atomic, you had Atomic on every gun, even if you just unlocked it because you completed the mastery challenge. It was the same on this. You had Orion, even if you didn't have gold or anything else. Now they've changed it. All right, we got 18 levels to do on this Chimera. We know about the first cut. 50 kills. Okay, that's easy enough. Two people stood behind each other in these fucking... Oh my god, four of them were in a row. Right, in 42 kills, I have taken the Chimera from level 1 to level 9. What the fuck? I mean, I know that, like, nothing is balanced, but the hipfire on this honey badger is fucking OD. <gasps> oh my god, that's one of the worst things that I have ever seen. All right, we only need three more three kill streaks with this to get gold. That's one, even though I couldn't see him. Made me a nice little home for my two kill streak. I got him, right? That's it. That's gold, baby. Wonder if there are any long shot spots on this shipment. All right, we've already got gold, and now I'm gonna try and get some long shots and see if I can burn through platinum super quick as well. I don't know what setting it is that I've put on that's giving it this glow, but I don't like it, and I can't figure out which it is to turn it off. And this is what it looks like joining a game in progress of shipment. But hey, here's the, uh, the gold Chimera. That looks pretty good. Oh, I just know I'm already in like the ultimate sweat lobbies right now. Got the CDL camos everywhere, the riot shields, shotguns. Those headies are going to become so annoying. Car and the forklift was bad enough. But I feel like you get full coverage there. You can stop people spawning behind you and stuff. There's no way to, uh, to challenge over the crates, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing, but... I'm blind. One thing I will say about this uh, this Chimera is that you run through your ammo so quickly. Like, I know it's an AR that feels like a sub. So it's going to shoot fast, lightweight, high fire rate. I mean, that could be said of all guns on this Modern Warfare, I think. You spawn in with so few spare bullets, too. Saw France beat Morocco last night. So we got France versus Argentina in the final, and then we have a Morocco versus... We have Morocco versus Croatia in the third place playoff. Honestly, I'm really hoping that Morocco take that. It'd be a huge achievement. Obviously, what they've done in this World Cup has been incredible so far anyway. And it's great knowing the impact that moments like that have on the development of sport in countries. Like, like as a nation, Morocco is going to grow as a football inside because of this run in the World Cup. 
And that's awesome. Might not see the impacts instantly. Sure, it takes time for generations to run through. I remember watching football when I was a kid and all I wanted to do was be Steven Gerrard, right? I think lots of people did. Now, sadly, I didn't have the uh, this skill or the stature to quite make that happen. And not everybody makes it, but these kind of runs are exactly what inspires people to become professional players, to put their heart and soul into following that for their whole life. And that's awesome. In the final, I'll definitely be back in Argentina. I don't want to talk about it too much because I definitely enjoy it if they uh, if they won that. I hate the idea of jinxing things. But yeah, Messi has been sensational this World Cup. I think Argentina have grown into their own. They haven't been the standout team in the tournament, it's probably fair to say, but they've still scored some really good goals. Had some really gritty results. And after what was a really embarrassing start, losing to Saudi Arabia in a game that could have been... 4-0 by halftime, by the way. To come back and make it to the final to find that that passion and that... To find that work rate and that desire to turn things around for themselves. I don't know, man. I think they definitely could do it. Whether they will or not is another question, but I don't know. France looks strong, though, man. I mean, I think they had shaky moments versus Morocco and versus... Uh, and versus England, where arguably neither of the teams were sort of attacking enough or, or driven enough to actually get them. England perhaps didn't have the look of the draw on the day, but there's so much talent in, the, in that squad and so many of them are so young. In fact, there's so much talent missing from that squad. That's the impressive part. Oh yeah, since the update, I can only like jump select players in the menu here. I don't really know why, so I can't mute individual people. And like, yeah, you can change things in here, but you can only mute the whole match or like friends only. It, it kind of makes no sense. I Like, can we fix that? I don't really understand how that gets broken. All right, so we've unlocked gold. I really want to get Orion on this if I can, like as soon as possible, just because I have it. So I want to be able to use it. You know what I mean? I just played out a whole game of tier one and got like a bunch of long shots, but they don't seem to have tracked. I don't know. I'm trying just regular core mode and I'm going to see if that works. I actually really like Tarek. Tarek has a special place in my heart for its work on the launches. So I'm going to run mid. Oh, I think I might have had no long shots because I've been treating this like a sub. I've been working 30 meters when it needs to be 38 because it's a freaking AR. Yeah, so I know I said in my long shot video that tier one TTK wasn't sure. I was definitely wrong about that. For the record, I, I mean, I've only played a couple games of tier one. Don't get me wrong. And yeah, I should have double checked that before saying it in hindsight. I really don't think that the TTK is that drastically different on tier one versus what it is in core game modes. And that's not to say that it's not low in tier one. It is. But I just think the TTK is crazy low anyway. The TTK is lower than it has been in any COD that I can remember. Of course, now they've added uh, shipment. They've taken out Shoot House, which has been my go-to for all of these long shots, as I've said, you know, a couple of times. I know not everyone is keen on Shoot House. I get that. Especially when people don't want to play the same map over and over again. 100%, I get that. But... When it comes to camo grinding, that is simply the most efficient way that you're going to get your long shots. And again, I know like it's all personal preference and stuff, but I even prefer it to uh, to ground war for long shots purely because I think you control the variables more. You, you, yeah, there's going to be people flanking but on ground war. There is someone on every roof, spawning everywhere. I really wanted to leave before he sniped me, but it's throwing me off that we have the new XP point at the bottom. All right, let's see where we got to. And zero. They aren't counting. Well, okay, that's the Honey Badger or the Chimera, you know, the new name for it. Um, I mean, I got gold super quickly. I've had a ton of long shots, but none of them have counted. So yeah, they added the Chimera and it's broken right now.